Well, good morning, y'all. It's LA Appliance Guy. And yes, I'm still a little hoarse and stuffy and tired. Uh, but look at this beaut. Whirlpool, side by side. It's not bad. It's a little baby. It's a little small side by side. Good size, because they can fit in a lot of spaces. But somebody dropped it off and said it had a bad compressor. But said a, a service tech come out there and checked it it's a variable speed compressor it's got an inverter board on the side so we gonna try and redneck it and run it off of the condenser motor over here because this is a 110 volt condenser motor and i think i've done this before the relay that's on the board is actually like a 10 or 15 amp relay and it can handle the compressor but hey, only one way to find out. Get it out of here and put a regular comp in it. No variable speed junk. So, it's going to be a little redneck, but let's give it a go. This is my donor unit out of another big side-by-side. -side. This is an EGY90 Embraco, Embraco, whatever. Pretty heavy-duty unit. Uh, this one you can see here right there. 230 volts and that mean it's got this inverter right here that runs it and uh yeah they're problematic so i was told it had a bad compressor let's slap one in her real quick you know how i roll coffee first ah, safety second ah, and flux i stole a bottle from up front we got in three bottles. I was like, I need this. <laughs> uh, it helps with steel to copper. Alrighty, worst part of the whole job here, getting this stupid bolts out. So there is 110 that goes right here, but it's constant. So you can't use it because the compressor won't cycle. You have to use these. It'll cycle the condenser. Yeah, these four bolts are the worst part of the whole job. Man, it's so nice on the units that have just clips. So much easier. Uh, but yeah, there's 7 sixteenths and fine thread. But what we're going to do is just wire the compressor to the condenser fan motor. And when it cycles the fan motor, it cycles the compressor. Alrighty, so time to light up the torch. And I'm just going to unsweat the high side and then the low side. And we'll get this compressor out of the way. You know, you can cut it with pipe cutters or you could just unsweat it. It just depends on what the donor compressor looks like is what I do. Cool it down. All right. Finishing our last bolt here. But yeah, the compressor is triggered by low voltage and the constant 110 is always there. So if I put the 110 straight to the compressor, it would just freeze and freeze and freeze and burn the compressor up. Wow, clip. This will be a quick, easy swap, but as long as we don't get any leaks. But now that I got me some uh, new flux, it should be able to get this steel to copper very quickly. You see, I brush it on right there. It just helps when you get the silver to it, it sticks right to it. I don't know what it is. I'm not a chemist, but it helps. And uh, then the high side, you know, it's a little bit bigger, so I had to pinch it down. The low side, it was the same, just shoved it right in, got it hot, and stuck some silver right to it. Um, but this is a quick swap here. We should be cooling very quickly. 
unlike that freezer I did the other day, that took me almost three hours without flux, fighting the steel to copper with the leaks and everything. What a pain. But I hate that they put these variable speed compressors in there. I mean, the amount of power that it saves can't be that much. Just put a regular comp in. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yay! Alrighty. So, boot to boot. Boop, boop. I was so excited about my solder there that I didn't even put the process tube on the other side. Genius. But you'll just heat that little uh, stub there, pull it out, and then put the Schrader valve in and solder it up so we could get some pressure on it. That's what it's supposed to look like. Flux really does help. Okay, we're gonna take our whites out of this and put it to our whites here, and then we're gonna cut this red, put it to this red, and cut this red back here and put it in line with this red. Sound good? Good. You know what time it is. Wire nut time. I have an LG over there that needs the same thing, but their fan motors are 12 volt. So you actually have to wire a 12 volt relay that triggers the 110 to the 110 compressor relay. So it's quite a little bit of doings there as well, but it works and it works for a long time. I've sold them and done it for a few years now. It, it's really not that bad. It's just time consuming and I haven't had chance to do it, but I will make a video on it as well. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna jump this off the fan. And right here, I'm just gonna split this red wire and then I'm just gonna put all three into, you guessed it, a wire nut. <laughs> Gotta love it. Uh, it is copper though, so it would be easy if you just wanted to solder them together. Uh, that might be easier and quicker in the end. Time to pump up the jams. Pump up the jams. Let's do it. Oh yeah, no friggin' leaks, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Pow, pow, flux for the win. I'm gonna pretend I don't see this. <laughs> Time to suck it up. Pull a vacuum. Yay, don't forget your core. Just big and soaking up the sun out here, huh? But yeah, the story is they bought this off of Marketplace for $200 or something like that, and it never worked. So, I mean, I hate to say it, but a lot of times, if it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Um, and they had a tech come out and check the compressor and say it was bad. They brought it to me and said, hey, you can have it. They got us. So... We gonna try and fix it if we can. You know, can't just junk all of them. But yeah, flux for the win. I don't know why I'm hard headed and I haven't grabbed a bottle of flux, but we got in three and I was like, snatch. <laughs> so much better with flux. What do you say, Biggin? Biggin's like, yeah, worth the eight or $10 all day. Let's give it the juice. Fingers crossed, we don't just blow the board. Moment of truth. Nope. She is on, baby. And pumping. Pa -pa. All righty, let's see what we get out of this baby. Pa -pa. All right, all right, sitting just above zero. Go ahead and cap her off and see what she does. Hopefully no restrictions, because, you know, I forgot about the dryer. You know, sometimes you just get forgetful. <laughs> All right. All righty, let's see if we're coming on down. Oh, yeah. 
below 20, almost to 10. Almost 40. Almost zero. Cycled off. Fans off, compressors off. All right. Oh no, don't get my baby side by side whirlpool red. It's a little gross, but she'll clean up nice. So this isn't my favorite style Whirlpool. They started putting those variable speed 240 volt compressors in there and they cause problems. Sad brush. And so it's just like, why, why do they do that to save just a tiny bit of power? Not even that much. Compressors don't really draw much power when they're running, just when they start, they draw some amps. Um, what draws the amperage is the uh, heater when it goes into defrost. But I do like this. This is buttons. This is not a user interface. This is a button. Very good there. Simple. Simple is better. So let me clean this baby up. Okay, so we made it to the end of that video on the Whirlpool baby side-by-side -side that needed a compressor. 240 volt variable speed inverted compressor swapped to a 110. All we did was run it off the condenser fan motor. So when it gets to temperature, it cycles the motor and it cycles the compressor. Very good. We'll bring it inside, dry it off, and test the ice maker and the water and everything. Um, but she's about ready to go, ready to go to a new home. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And you know the keyword today. You put the keyword down in the comments to let everybody know you made it to the end of the video. Friggin' flux. Flux for the win. I stole a bottle. So now we have some for the steel to copper. And it definitely helps when you're doing those two different metals that flux, oh, it just sticks right to it flux for the win baby but yeah almost ready to go we'll get this white off of the handles and we'll sell it to somebody who needs a fridge thanks again later so i've been putting it off but i have this lg that we're going to do the same thing it has the inverted linear compressor with the big beautiful control board back here and what i got me some new relays right so what we're gonna do is do the same thing. I've done it many times before, is run it off of your gray, I think it is, or I'll have to look at my little wiring diagram, but pink and gray right there, that's your condenser motor. And so when it triggers the condenser motor, it triggers the 12 volt relay, and then we'll run our power for the 110 volt compressor down there, very easy but I just been putting it off, <clears throat> got so much to fix. But yeah, same thing on these big, beautiful LGs, inverted linear compressors that are trash. And you can cut them out and double relay it with a 12 volt relay to a 110 volt compressor and it runs great. So we'll do it on that one eventually. This is a nice counter depth LG. Just sitting here waiting for me to fix it. Thanks for watching, y'all. Sorry I'm still nasally, <laughs> but that was just a quick comp swap and on to the new home.